Hi, I'm Millie Davis. I'm 15 and I've always been from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I grew up in a Christian home. I was in church from as long as I can remember. Like always getting dressed, going to church every Sunday morning. I got baptized when I was really young, but I didn't really understand what it meant. I just knew that it was good and that I should do it. So I did it. Um, and I always kind of called myself a Christian, but I never really knew what that meant. I considered it as a religion, more of a relationship. I went to a Christian school for 14 years of my life, and I left that school after eighth grade and I just started to fall in with the wrong crowd and um, I was getting involved with all the wrong things and I was just trying to fill this void that I had and I was just looking for help in all the wrong places and me and my family found this place that I could go to for Three to five months, I ended up being there for four. It was basically just a place where I could go and it was faith-based so I could just really dissect the Bible and really try to understand what my faith meant to me. I just got back and um, I learned so much there. I learned my identity in Christ instead of the world. I learned how to overcome my problems instead of just cope. God will always forgive me no matter what. He's never mad at me. He's not an angry God. Like He is a righteous, a graceful, merciful God. And he could never hate me or dislike me and he'll always love me. And Romans 5, 8 was one of the verses that I had to memorize while I was away. And it said, God showed his love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And my favorite part about that verse is how it says we were still sinners. Looking back now, I can see that God was with me in the midst of my sin. When I was like at my lowest and I didn't know what to do, he was right there and he was chasing after me the whole time and all I had to do was just turn around. He holds me when I am broken and puts my pieces back together. He lifts me up when I am down and drowning in this rainy weather. He led me back to life when I felt like mine should be over and when I needed it the most, he woke me up and made me sober. A good gracious God, I say, yet sometimes I still run away. The King, the Lamb, the Great I Am, if only I would call him by his name. He wipes my tears, takes away my fears, he reminded me why I am here. He shed his blood for my sin, yet I didn't want to let him in. I didn't see what he saw in me, but I knew I would eventually. He took me from my lowest point, the point of no return, and surrounded me with love and grace and mercy I didn't earn. So now I will proudly voice what my Father has done for me, and hope and pray that others will turn to him once they see. If he could take a hopeless case and lay a smile of pure joy on my face, just imagine what he can do for you and for all the people that you love too. So I will throw my hands up and praise his name forever because the Lord has come into my life and changed me for the better. There's nothing more that I want than to give him all the glory and that's why I will go and share his word and tell my story. For everyone deserves to know they're saved from the sin of the world and who knew lives could be touched through a broken teenage girl. I knew that when I got back, I wanted to be baptized in my home church. I knew that I wanted to be baptized at Seacoast with my church family. I was thinking about that basically the whole last month I was there. And then I got home and I found out that everybody was doing baptisms and I was like, this is perfect. I asked Tommy to get baptized and I am excited 
for the church to see how I'm a new person now.